Now, Post Toasties, the heat good cornflakes, is proud to present Gun Smoke. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun smoke. The story of the violence that moved west with young America. The story of a man who moved with it. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. Say there, next time you hear a crackling noise in your kitchen, better get up and investigate. Maybe somebody just couldn't wait for his breakfast of crackling crisp post toasties. And that's a treat you shouldn't miss. Post toasties, you know, are the heat good cornflakes. Why, after one taste, I'll bet anything you'll agree with me. Post Toasties is just the best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. There's nothing quite like sweet kernel corn flavor when it's toasted right in. Toasted into crisp, fresh cornflakes. Man, oh man, that's Post Toasties. Heat good cornflakes. Better try them. And now, Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. <laughs> Sure are slow with that beer, Doc. I'm ready for another. You had enough last night, Chester. Matt told me you were still asleep at nine o'clock this morning. Oh, I was. And it was mighty kind of him not to wake me up. Say, are you sure he said he'd be back this afternoon? That's what he told me. So I oh oh oh, oh. now what in the world is that fella? Who? It just came in the door there. With Tyler and Short. Oh, him, that's Weed Pendle. He rode in on a mule a couple days ago. Uh, well, which has the bigger ears, him or the mule? <laughs> oh, he is funny looking, all right. And he acts peculiar, too. That's a mighty scrawny mule, Pendle. I seen you on him this morning. Pendle, he is kind of scrawny yourself, Short. Maybe some beer would fatten him up a little. I'd like some beer, all right. But I got no money. Why don't you sell that guitar of yours? Sell my guitar? No, I'd never do that. You must have a nickel, at least. Last money I had got stole. Now, who would dare steal money off a tiger like you, Pendle? I was asleep. I started to wake up, but they kicked me in the head. You call that a head? Looks to me more like your neck just growed out and haired over. <laughs> I ain't very handsome. You sure ain't. Hey, what'd your old lady think of you when she saw you, Pendle? I don't know. She died. Yeah. Laughing, I'll bet. Oh, <laughs> now, that's enough, Tully. That's too mean. Pendle's a harmless little fella. Ain't nobody talking to you, Chester. Well... Bartender, three beers. You buying, Tyler? I'm proud, too. A fine old soldier like Weed Pendle. How'd you know I was a soldier? I didn't. Where was you a soldier, Pendle? Third Illinois Cavalry. Illinois? You was with the Yankees. Well, I never done much. We had hard luck and never got to see no real Confederates at all. Just a bunch of ragged-tailed bushwhackers in South Missouri. They was led by an old chicken thief named Klein. Yeah, so they was. Tell me something, Pendle. Did you ever kill any of uh, Klein's men? A few, before I got shot myself. They caught some of them after and hung them, but I never did see a hanging. You never saw a hang? Nowhere. I never did. That's so. Well, Pindle, you're in luck. Since we was kind of in the war together, so to speak, I'm going to show you a hanging. Uh, you're about ready, ain't you, Short? My rope's on my saddle. I'll get it and meet you out back. There going to be a hanging? real hanging? There sure is. 
You're lucky, Fendel. You run into us just in time. What are you talking about, Tyler? Who are you going to hang? Hey, it's a kind of surprise, Chester. You can watch, too. Now, uh, here, you know it's against the law to hang people around here. I saw Marshal Dillon ride out of town this morning. When he gets back, it'll be all over. And don't you try to buck me in short, Chester. You'll die if you do. Come on, Pendle. You don't want to miss it. Sure. What do you suppose they're up to, Doc? And I don't know, Chester, but I'd like to find out. Yeah, I guess we'd better. <laughs> I sure do wish Mr. Dillon was here. I never did think much of Tyler and Short. They play no good. I'm worried, Doc. There they are. Why, it's Pindle. They got a rope around his neck. Of course, you won't see all the hanging, Pindle, just the start of it. What are you hanging me for? I ain't done nothing. You was in the 3rd Illinois Cavalry. Well, sure. We was fighting under that old chicken thief, Klein, in South Missouri. It's a real pleasure to hang a Yankee like you. But I only done what they told me to. I didn't kill nobody on purpose. All right, now, wait a minute, you two. You've gone far enough. Shoot him, Tyler. You go shooting anybody, and you'll be the ones to end up on a rope. Doc ain't armed. He never is. Go on, Tyler. All right. You can try it. But you're sure going to have to kill me before you hang anybody. I'll kill you. You'll have to kill me, too, Tyler. Mr. Dillon. Now, where'd he come from? Take your rope off that man's neck, Short, and do it quick. Sure, Marshal. Sure. I told you you shouldn't hang me. Oh, we was just funning the Marshal. We wasn't going to hang him. What's this all about, Short? Well, he's a Yankee, Marshal. Killed a lot of us in Missouri during the war. We was going to scare him and then run him off. Well, you forget about that. And forget about the war, too. It's over. The next time I catch you up to anything like this, you're going to go to jail. Go to jail? Over a dumb Yankee who don't own nothing but a skinny mule and a guitar? Get out of here, Short. Now, you too, Tyler. Okay, Marshal. But this Yankee better get out of here, too. Out of Dodge. Shut up, Tyler. I got moving. Sure. See you later, Findle. Findle, Marshal Dillon's here. He wants to see you. I sure do thank you for letting me sleep in your jail last night, Marshal. Where you been sleeping before, Pendle? With my mule. I always do. Huh? I, uh, hear you broke. What do you do for a living? I never did nothing much, Marshal. Just ride around on my mule. Well, what about your guitar? Don't you ever play and take up a collection or something? Oh, no, Marshal. I wouldn't do that. Well, why not? Can't, can't you play well enough? I don't know, Marshal. I never played it for nobody to hear, except me. Ah. All right. Uh, Chester, take him over to the Texas Trail, huh? Maybe Sam can give him a job of some kind. Well, it wouldn't be steady, would it? <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, why shouldn't it be? Because I'll be leaving in a day or two. Oh? Where you headed? Nowhere. Nowhere? Just ride around on my mule. I always do. And where are you from, anyway? I was born San Benito. Oh, on the Rio Grande? Yes. I left soon after. Took my guitar with me, though. Never did go back. Well, if you're from Texas, how come you fought in the Union Army? I don't know. One army's just like another, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you're right at that. Uh, Chester, take him over to Sam's. Huh? All right, sir. I left my guitar back. I'll go get it. He sure is a peculiar little fellow, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, pretty helpless, too. You think Short and Tyler will bother him anymore? Well, knowing them, I believe they'd have hung him yesterday if they could have. Uh, you tell Sam to let me know if they even start talking to him again, huh? Yes, sir, I will. They're about the meanest pair of men I ever knew. Yeah, they are. And they'll think of something. Well, Pennell said he's leaving in a day or two. I hope that's soon enough, Chester. morning appetites at your house. If they're pretty drowsy, here's a real good way to wake them up. 
Set a bowl full of Post Toasties, the heap good cornflakes, at everybody's place. Just watch your folks take notice when they see how crisp Post Toasties are. And wait till they taste that sweet kernel corn flavor toasted in. Bet your whole tribe will agree with you. Post Toasties are the best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. And here's a thought if you'd like to make a good thing even better. Try topping Post Toasties with your favorite fruit. You'll find that's a mighty good way to start the day. Fact is, it's a downright delicious way. So next time you shop, be sure to ask for Post Toasties. They're the heat good cornflakes. You'll see. Post Toasties heat good cornflakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heat good cornflakes. Post Toasties heat good cornflakes. Now back to Gun Smoke. <laughs> Sam gave Weed Pendle a job sweeping up the saloon and let him live in a tiny shack out back. He tried to get him to play his guitar, but Pendle wouldn't do it. And we all began to think that he probably didn't even know how. It's hard to believe that anyone as simple as he was could learn to do anything. I looked up short and Tyler and warned him again to leave him alone. And they did. Until one morning a couple of days later... Chester and I had just come out of Delmonico's and we're walking up Front Street. Look at there, Mr. Dillon, across the plaza. Yeah, I saw them. Let's go over there, Chester. It's Pendle and his mule, all right. Yeah. And Tyler and Short, too. I told them to keep away from him. What are they laughing at? Now, they're laughing, but he isn't. What do you suppose they've done to him now? Look at his mule, Chester. Well, That's what they've done. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Dillon. He's lost the ear. I thought Yankees liked their mules that way short. At least I always heard they did. I guess there's just no pleasing some men, Tyler. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that to my mule. Well, it's the marshal again. The Jew men do this. Now, Marshal, we ain't done nothing to Pendle. Did they do it, Pendle? I tried to stop him, but Tyler held me. Then they gave me my mule's ear, Marshal. It's right here. See? Yeah. Turn around, both of you. Turn around, I said. Now take their guns, Chester. Yes, sir. Can't do nothing to us, Marshal. We didn't hurt Pendle. No. I don't like what you did to his mule. I got him, Mr. Dillon. Now, Rich, you can turn around again. I ought to cut an ear off of each of you. But I can't do that. So I'm going to do the next best thing. Now, look here, Marshal. You... Now, I'll leave him there, Chester. Pendle, I'm sorry about your mule. He ain't much of a mule anymore. Well, you better go take care of him. And maybe these two will leave you alone now. Poor mule. Wade Pendle told me yesterday, Matt. Well, it could have been almost anything knowing him, Kitty. No, this kind of makes sense. I asked him if he was ever lonely, and he said, no, he never stayed anywhere long enough to get to know anybody that well. Uh, he's a little strange, all right. Mm. Now what are they up to? Who? Tyler and Short. They just came in with Pendle. Oh? Look, Matt, he's got his guitar with him. Yeah. Hey, listen, everybody. Hey, Listen, everybody. Little Yankee is going to play his guitar for us. At least he's going to try. Ain't you, Yankee? Don't shoot my mule. We ain't going to shoot your mule. Not if you play good enough. Go on, get started. 
if you know how. They've threatened to kill his <laughs> mule, Matt. you got to stop him. No, wait a minute, Kitty. <laughs> Go on, Pendle. Go on, play. All right. <laughs> surprised everybody, didn't he? <laughs> Tyler and Short don't look so happy about it. No. The crowd's with Findle now. Good. They'll leave him. Yeah, they better. Hello. You've been playing that guitar a long time in there, ain't you, Pindle? They wanted me to. They liked it. Well, me and Short been waiting to tell you how we liked it, too. Yeah. Let me see that guitar, Pindle. No. You hurt my mule. Give it to me. I got a gun in your belly, Pindle. Don't move. I want my guitar. You can have it. I just want to sort of tune it for you first. Please, there. Please don't do that. Another thing that's wrong with this guitar, it's a little bit too big for a man like you. But I can make it smaller. <laughs> there you are, Yankee soldier. Maybe this will learn them. Let's go short. <laughs> They both dead, Doc. Oh, my, yes. Real dead. For several hours, at least. Why, they must have been asleep when it happened, Doc. It looks like Short there struggled a little. I guess Tyler got his first, and it woke Short up for a minute. He wasn't awake very long, man. Yeah, just long enough to see who was cutting his throat, probably. Hmm. Well, he can't talk now. No. Yeah, I guess I'm all through here. What do you want to do with him? Well, we'll let the hotel worry about him. I guess it's Weed Pendle I want now. My, and him such a mild little fellow. Uh, any man can take just so much, Chester. I sure hate to see poor Pendle hang for killing these two buzzards, man. Chester, wait for me at the jail, huh? I'll bring him over as soon as I can find him. Sam? Yeah, what'll it be, Marshal? Where's Weed Pendle, Sam? Oh, I just sent him out back for a bucket of sawdust. What do you want him for? Short and Tyler got their throats cut early this morning. Good. I guess their smashing his guitar was too much for Pendle. That's so. Oh, there he is now. Pendle, come over here. Morning, Marshal. Good morning. Pendle. Where was you last night? I don't know. Here, I guess. You don't know. Now, wait a minute, Marshal. Pendle, where was you after they wrecked your guitar? Well, I sat in the alley a while, and I come back here. Yeah, that's right. And he was so broke up about his guitar, I didn't want to leave him alone, so I <laughs> took him up and let him sleep on the floor of my room. That right, Pendle? Well, go on. Tell him now. Sure, Sam. 
That's right. Are you trying to alibi for him, Sam? Why, no, Marshal Dillon. But I care about him. Some people care about me. Who, Pendle? He's just talking, Marshal. Who cares about you, Pendle? Tell me. Those men. What men? He means some of the boys that was here when he come back with his busted guitar, Marshal. They just told him how sorry he was, that's all. I see. They liked his music, didn't they? Yes, they did. They liked to hear me play. Who was in here then, Sam? Well, now, Marshal Dillon, you know how it is. I'm busy pouring drinks, and I don't pay no mind to who's here and who ain't. I, I couldn't rightly say it all. Okay, Sam, I guess I can't beat the truth out of you. Oh, now, Marshal Dillon, who cares about Tyler and Short? Dodge is better off without There's it. There's a law against murder, Sam, and it's the same for everybody. And I'll be back later. <laughs> Mr. Dillon? Well, I've done all I can, Chester. The whole town's just plain quit talking. Nobody knows anything. Well, I guess they're all trying to protect Pendle. Yeah, they are. That he didn't do it. Well, who did then? Well, if I could prove who did it, Chester, I'd have him in jail. Say, come over here. Well, I declare, Mr. Dillon, it looks to me like he's leaving town. Yeah, I told him he could go. He looks funnier than ever on that one-eared mule. Yeah. Now, Dodge treated Pendle pretty rough. Mm, he sure did. Poor little fellow looks kind of empty like that his guitar, don't he? Well, maybe you'll find another one somewhere. Anyway, they sure like to hear him play in this town. A couple of the boys in particular, I guess. Yeah, they liked it just fine. Say, Mother, want to see your small fry eat a better breakfast than ever? Well, may I suggest that you dish them up some sugar crinkles to start with? Sugar crinkles, you know, make breakfast more fun than a circus. Sugar crinkles is the sugar rice treat that's just right sweet. It's high time to forget these sugar-coated cereals that seem too sweet to you and those others that don't seem sweet enough to the kids. Just pour out crisp golden sugar crinkles and see how just right sweet a sugar-coated cereal can be. Just right sweet. Be sure to get several packages of sugar crinkles, because they're great for snacks. Kids love them that way. Kids love them anyway. Try sugar crinkles, and you'll love them too. Remember, new sugar crinkles is the sugar rice treat that's just right sweet. Gunsmoke, under the direction of Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, John Daner, Lawrence Dobkin, and Harry Bartell. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Special guitar effects by Al Hendrickson. Ken Peters speaking. Join us again next week as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke was brought to you tonight by Post Toasties and Sugar Crinkles.